Hey, Ray, it's good to see you today. How's the weather for you in Winston-Salem? Pretty good. We were out of town last week, warm at the beach, but it's very nice here as well. Good, good. So tell me what is the one thing that I can help you with today so you can get more value out of using LinkedIn? Uh, connect with people on LinkedIn in a more targeted way okay. um, on people that are value to what we do. Okay. So you've been sending out invites with specific messaging but you haven't been getting the kind of return you want? Correct, yeah, that's okay. right. Yeah. So have you spent much time using introductions? Um, I'm not sure what do you mean by that, introductions. Then let's talk about that. Let's talk about how you may get a better value using introductions, all right? Okay. So I'm gonna okay. share my screen. Yeah. So, and by the way, this is Mr. Ray Collins in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Ray has owns a company called True Voice. It's all about helping people present themselves better and uh, in conversations. And, um, and, and Ray's a vocal coach, which I could absolutely use today as my voice is disappearing. But Ray, let's, let, let's do a search. So I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create just a search. You know, I'm gonna look for entrepreneur. Okay, and that may not be the right word, but I'm just, you know, just come up with ideas here, okay? Entrepreneur, yep. and I'm gonna go to people. Where's people? People. Now I'm gonna drive this down a little bit, Ray. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive it down. I'm gonna go look for second level. Now, do you know why I would look for second level, Ray? Do you, you remember this? Uh, a refresh. So mind. first level we're already connected with. So I don't need, I'm not looking to connect with them, but I may look for them to have a conversation. Second level, the reason why I typically want you to focus on second level is because you have a mutual connection. So it makes it easier to get introduced. So I'm gonna look for second level. Third level, we don't have a mutual connection. So I'm gonna go just to second level. Now the list is still too big. So let me just go to North Carolina. I'm gonna go to that region. List is still too big. So I'm gonna go over here to all filters and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna to go to industry. I'm gonna look for people in information technology and show results. So I just drove it down 264. That's still pretty big, but that's but I'm not gonna work that whole list, Ray. Here's what I wanna show you. Let's say that you look at, let me bring this out. So I'm just looking at just this tab. Let's say I want to, uh, that uh, McKay is someone that I think is someone I want to talk with. It's just, you know, now the right, the way to do that, I got to bring this back up. The way to do that is you right click on her, his, her profile and open in a new tab. And then right, what, right click, what? Right click, open in a new tab. Okay. And the yep. reason you do that is you leave your list here. You never lose your list, but look, I open her up over here in another oh, okay. tab, okay? Mm -hmm. So now I can come over here and I can look at this list and go, is McKay someone that I wanna get connected with? Is McKay someone I wanna have a conversation with? Could she be what's referred to as my target audience? Now, if she is, here's the way to do this. Do not, and it's actually hit, there it is. Do not send her a connect request. And I'm gonna repeat, do not send her a connect request. Right. Instead, send a message to DeVay, a mutual connection, and ask DeVay three, two questions, two questions. Question number one, and by the way, you'll send DeVay that message via email. Don't okay. send it by LinkedIn. Well, okay, now you just, how did you get to DeVay? How did you get to her? So when I look at McKay's profile, it says you both know DeVay. See right there? Yes. Okay, so I could right click and bring DeVay's profile up. All right, but I, for the sake of this public video, I don't wanna do that. Now, but because I know DeVay, I could send her an email and ask two questions. Number one, DeVay, do you know McKay well? Because it's important that she know her well before I ask her to do anything for me. 
Second question is, Devay, do you think McKay is someone that I should talk with regarding what I do to help people? Right. It, do you know her well? And is she the right person for me to talk with? Then now, here, here's okay. the I do. I do not know Devay. Well, that, this is an example. I do know Devay. I'm, oh, okay, this right. Is in, this is looking at my my stuff, not your stuff. This okay, is only okay. an example, Ray. Right. Only an example. So, if if you're looking at this stuff, and you see second level, that means you share a connection with her. Okay. Yes. So. My point is, instead of sending McKay an invite to connect, send an email to your mutual connection, in this case with me, it's DeVay, and ask your mutual connection two questions. Number one, do you know McKay well? Number two, do you think McKay is the right person for me to talk with regarding what I do? If, yeah. if so, if so, would you do me a favor? Send McKay an email. Copy me on the message and introduce me to McKay so I could connect with her on LinkedIn and if she would like to have a conversation. So you say send McKay an email and... Copy me on the message. Copy me on message. Yeah. Introduce me to her. Introduce me to her. And so that I can connect with her on LinkedIn. Yeah. And invite her to a conversation about her business or whatever the words are, Ray. Right. Okay. Now, you, you'll, you'll adjust these words based on your relationship. Let me go back to, let me go back to one. Let's say, you know, <clears throat> um, Actually, let me do let me do a little bit more. Hang on one second. I'm gonna re-script this. I'm gonna re-script it. Ah. Doesn't work. So I can't do can't do that. So let's just look at another one. Yeah. Let's say that Grace Reigns is someone that you want to have a conversation with. Well, look right Great. here. There's yep. six people that I share connections with her. Okay, got it. And again, if you're doing this search second level, Ray, these are going to be people you know. Got it. Same philosophy. If you look at Grace's profile and you want to have a conversation with Grace and you want to connect with Grace, send an email. You know, Adrian, send an email to Adrian and ask two questions. Do you know Grace well? Is Grace the right person for me to connect with in regards to what I do? And then if so, which assumes yes to those other two questions, if so, would you send Grace an email, introduce me to her so I can connect with her on LinkedIn and then invite her to a conversation? And by the way, Ray, when you send this email to Adrian, you're basically scripting out the email that he could forward to her. I got it. Yeah. So you make yeah. it easy for him just to forward it and copy you. And question, when you go on to Grace, you, you right click and you get her profile, right? Yeah. So when I, because I want to leave my list here. So I right click, open in a new tab. And then I go look at it in the new tab. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So then to go back to what the other screen was. I guess when I'm done doing what I want to do here, I hit the X and it takes me right back to the other screen. Got it. Right. Now leave my list. You always, anytime you work a list in LinkedIn, you right click and open in a new tab. So basically what you're doing, once you feel that that person is right for you, you look at where, who they connect with, that you know, then ask that person to send them an email to uh, request, to, to what, to, to, you know, do you think they'd be interested in what I do? And could you introduce me to her? Yeah, yeah but, but you're, you're going to say, uh, you, you look and see who you have a mutual connection with. You send that person an email and you say, hey, Shannon, 
Um, do you know David Lindsay Scott Johnson? Excuse me, David Lindsay Johnson. Well, do you know him well? Number two, do you think he's the right person for me to have a conversation with regarding in your whatever the words are for you, Ray, and regarding the yeah. work that you do? And then yeah. if so, would you forward this forward this email to David? Got it. it. Copy me on the message so that I can say hello. And then invite him to connect on LinkedIn, and if appropriate, invite him to a conversation. Right, and then you can connect once they got they replied to that email that you. Um, that well, in other words, you're asking Grace to reply to the email that Adrian sent her, right? Yeah, but check this out. You, it, you, what's your goal? Your goal is to have a conversation. Yeah. So if she responds back to the email, then you've started a conversation. Got now, the, the fact that in the message it says so that I can also connect with them on LinkedIn, that just alerts her that you're going to send her an invite. Got it. And yeah. the invite can say, hey, Grace, good to meet you. I appreciate Adrian introducing me to you. Got it. I see how it works. Gotcha. Yeah. But you, you've started the whole activity you want. When Adrian sends the email to her, if she responds back, you've achieved what you set out to do, which is to have a conversation. The only weak link is I just think that maybe uh, Adrian's so busy, he may not actually do it. That may be the case. So you know what? Um, so and, and, and that, that's not going to be any less of a success than you sending Grace an invite and she doesn't accept it. That's right. Yeah. So, okay. By the way, so you, you don't just do one of these, you do four or five of these a week, six or seven of these a week on a regular basis. You right. look for the people who are second level to you that you want to have a conversation with. You find a mutual connection. You send an email and you say, hey, Bill, do you know Heather? Well, do you think Heather's the one I should talk with? If so, forward this message to her so I can connect with her on LinkedIn and if appropriate and relevant, have a conversation with her. And you got do another. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So, Ray, this is my this is my suggestion to you. Instead of sending invites out to people who don't know you, look for ways to get introduced to those people by people that you share connections with. Ah, uh, yeah. Look, yeah. yeah. Always to connect with who you share in. Yeah. Yeah, your mutual connections. It's far richer than sending out invites to people who don't know you and then getting frustrated because you're not getting the response you want to get. Yeah, got it. All right. It takes longer. Yeah. But it but it's more likely to work if you're developing co uh, connections on LinkedIn with people who trust, respect, and like you. Got it. Very, that's tremendous. I really appreciate your help there. Well, practice that a few times and then let me know how it works out. Good. Ray, thanks a lot for, for letting me share this idea about doing introductions instead of sending out invites that, to people who don't know you. Practice it. I hope you get good success from it and we'll talk another day. Thank you very much.